Okay, in this video, I'm going to answer the question of how to determine if you have pages that are cannibalizing each other. So let me explain first what I mean by a page cannibalizing another page. When you build a website, um, some people think that if you wanted to rank for, let's just say, New York personal injury lawyer, that the more pages that you have that are optimized for the word New York personal injury lawyer, well, the more bites at the apple that you're going to have and the more relevant you look to Google um, because you have so many pages that talk about that you're a New York personal injury lawyer. Well, it's actually just the opposite. Um, Google isn't looking for 14 pages that are optimized on your website for one specific keyword. They want to have just one particular landing page on your website that's fully optimized for that keyword, right? Because when Google sends out their crawlers uh, to your website, the crawlers are looking at the content, they're following the links, and they're looking for the most relevant result to display in their index when people do a search query for a certain specific term, right? So by you having so many pages that are optimized for New York Personal Injury Lawyer, and when I say optimized, I'm talking about specific things like up here where in the top left-hand corner where my mouse is moving, uh, where it says New York Personal Injury Lawyer, that's what is called the title tag. That is one of the first things that show up on Google when you do a search for the term. Uh, it's, I'll just show you what it is here. So New York Personal Injury Lawyer right here. Uh, this is a, a title tag. This is called a meta description, right? So these are different things that you can do to better optimize a page. And with a good SEO team on your, you know, working on your behalf, they would be doing this kind of stuff. Another thing that you can do to um, increase the optimization of the page is, you know, put, you know, use header tags. So this is an H1 tag, maybe an H2 tag, right? So sprinkle the keyword on the page a couple times, right? So, but my point is, is you don't want to have more than one specific page optimized for any given term because it actually hurts you and it doesn't help you. So I'm going to show you how you can determine whether or not you have this problem with your website. So the first thing that you want to do, and I just randomly pick these websites out of uh, just search queries. So this site is called NewYorkPersonalInjuryLawyer.com with it being NY. So I'm going to take that and on Google, Google is one of the best tools that you can use when studying search. Okay, so a lot of people don't know that you can do advanced queries. Like, for example, this is called the site query, uh, which I mentioned previously in uh, one of the earlier questions. So you just put site colon and then you put the URL without the www.com. You press submit and uh, it's going to display back um, however many pages Google it has indexed for this particular site. So in this case, it's 140 pages. So out of those 140 pages, how many of the 140 of those pages are optimized for the keyword New York Personal Injury Lawyer? Because it looks like, you know, his homepage is definitely optimized for it. Um, the URL itself is optimized for it. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to take this advanced search query one step further, and we're going to do site colon the URL, which is nypersonalinjurylawyer.com. Then we're going to do a space. Then we're going to call it in title, which means in title tag. So you're also saying, Google, I want to see all of the title tags of the pages that are indexed that say New York Personal Injury Lawyer exactly as is. New York Personal Injury Lawyer. So that's why I put quotes there. So in title, colon, and then you put quote, New York Personal Injury Lawyer, close quote. And you can see here that you have the home page, which is optimized for New York Personal Injury Lawyer, which really should be the only page that's optimized for that term. Then you have a mobile version that looks like it's getting indexed that's optimized for New York Personal Injury Lawyer. Then you have one of the attorneys that uh, could also be causing some confusion because that is also optimized for uh, partially for New York Personal Injury Lawyer. Then you've got what looks like another landing page here that's completely optimized for New York Personal Injury Lawyer. Then you've got a car accident page that is also telling Google this page should be the most relevant page for New York Personal, in Personal Injury Lawyer. So you kind of see how Google is getting a little confused here. Um, and it doesn't know which page to rank. 
Um, you know, obviously they could eventually determine it, but they would prefer to put a website that is giving them a, a stronger signal and it's just a little bit cleaner search environment um, where they only have one page that's optimized for a specific term ahead of you. So that's, that's a bad example. Um, this is a good example. This is Houston-AccidentAttorney.com. When we do the same thing, site HoustonAccidentAttorney.com. Looks like there's 290 pages that are indexed on Google. Take that step one, you know, one step further. Site command, uh, HoustonAccidentAttorney.com. In title, Houston Car Accident Lawyer. In this case, there's only one page that's really optimized for Houston Car Accident Lawyer, and it's the home page, right? Um, however, there is a second page that's optimized, but that's for South Houston, which is, uh, you know, uh, it's a completely different area than Houston, right? And I think that, that they want to be optimized for South Houston uh, for that search query. And uh, so that's just it. I just wanted to show you how to do that. Uh, you know, Google can be your friend. It's a great tool, and, and you should absolutely be, be using that. Thanks so much.